Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's me, Dr. V. Jayakumar. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. In this video, we are going to discuss about mechanisms and their types. Before we proceed, if you are visiting this channel for the first time or you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon to get notified every time I post brand new video on this channel. In the flow chart of machine given below, we have already covered about kinematic links, kinematic pairs and kinematic chains in our earlier lecture videos. In this video, we are going to talk about mechanisms and their types. What is a mechanism? A mechanism is a kinematic chain in which any one link is fixed. Consider this four bar kinematic chain without any link having been fixed. If I fix any one link, say link one in this kinematic chain, now it becomes mechanism. So kinematic chain with any one link fixed becomes a mechanism. We know that mechanism should provide a predictable controlled output motion in response to a supplied input motion. The primary function of any mechanism is to transmit and modify motion. In the literature, Many kinematicians use the terms mechanisms and linkages. They use the term mechanism when it consists of both lower and higher pairs. They use the term linkage in order to describe a mechanism consisting of only lower pairs. Consider this cam follow lower mechanism, which is a four link mechanism, which has three lower pairs and one higher pair. So they prefer it to be called as mechanism. Whereas in the second diagram, it is a four bar linkage because it has all lower pairs and hence they prefer it to call as linkage rather than mechanism. But these days, the terms mechanisms and linkages are used interchangeably. Now, we shall see the classification of mechanisms. Mechanisms can be classified based on number of links as simple mechanism and compound mechanism. Mechanisms can also be classified based on characteristics of motion of links as planar and spatial mechanisms. We will see them one by one now. First, let us see the difference between simple and compound mechanism. If a mechanism is having four links, that is known as simple mechanism. If a mechanism has more than four links, then that is known as compound mechanism. In the second classification, we will talk about planar mechanism now. A mechanism formed when all the links of the mechanism lie in the same plane, it is known as planar mechanism. In planar mechanisms, the complete motion paths of the mechanism can be represented by a single plane. Each link of the mechanism can have maximum of two translatory motion in X and Y axis and one rotation about Z axis and hence a planar mechanism can have a maximum of three degrees of freedom. Let us see some examples of planar mechanisms. Consider a windshield wiping mechanism that are being used in automobiles. You can see that all links of this particular mechanism lie in the same plane and hence it is a typical planar mechanism. Similarly, consider IC engine in which the various links are slider, connecting rod, crank and cylinder, they lie on the same plane. Another interesting mechanism namely crank and slotted lever mechanism that is used in shaper machine. As you could see here, various links of this mechanism lie in the same plane. And hence, all these mechanisms are planar mechanisms. In fact, a vast majority of the mechanisms that we see in day-to-day -day life are 
predominantly planar mechanisms now let us discuss about spatial mechanism the mechanism formed when the links of the mechanism lie in different planes it is known as spatial mechanisms in other words to describe the motion of spatial mechanisms we need more than one plane for example the motions of a robot arm crane and hooks joint are examples of spatial mechanisms a spatial mechanism can have maximum of 6 degrees of freedom three translatory motions in x y and z axis and three rotational motions about x y and z axis consider the motion of a robo arm this requires more than one plane to define the motion of the robo arm hence motion of robo arm forms a spatial mechanism same is the case with the crane as you could see the links of the crane lie in different planes hence the motion of a crane is also a spatial mechanism the key takeaways of this video lecture are summarized for your ready reference that's it hope you like this work if so like this video share it to your friends subscribe the channel hit the notification bell icon thanks for watching take care bye